morning everyone uh by your names i go by the name jeff Ogon. i'm a in call officer intern at nakuru pgh uh today we had a meeting as all interns within this facility in uh, consolidarity or in consolidation with the demise of one of our colleagues most of us and as interns we left home to go change home and it's sad for someone to lose his life in a place where it's not even a war zone or a battlefield. So on the 14th of this month, uh, our colleague was found dead within the facility. Uh, the police came in, the administration came in, uh, were given promises and we were told that uh, investigation is ongoing and uh, within a certain period of time, we'll get to know what really was just piled. So we demonstrated before, then we went back to work but after I after we went back to work, we felt like there's a go slow in terms of uh, investigations and everything that was going on. So that's why we decided uh, yesterday that we'll be downing our tools. And today we decided that we'll be having a demonstration. Uh, let me call it a peaceful uh, petition for that, for that matter. And when we dropped our letters to the September, was September Police Station OCS and Central Police Station OCS. We had some inform information from them. And uh, from September Police Station OCS, we were told that uh, we don't need to demonstrate because the reason why we're demonstrating today is because we felt like uh, justice has not been served for the death of uh, our late Dr. Laban. Nothing has happened so far. And also as in terms, we felt insecure because uh, from the reports that we've been hearing is that he was uh he was transported into the facility and uh, most probably he lost his life within the facility so we don't we can't like everything is in the air we cannot make wind of what really happened so we felt like whoever did it or however it happened then the chance for a repeat is very high so we felt insecure as interns and that's why we called uh for a peaceful demonstration today but the police have been able to address us and what they've told us is that they'll come with the dci uh uh, in charge of the investigation uh, later in the afternoon at 2 p.m. and we'll have a meeting then we'll get a comprehensive status report as far as matters investigation is concerned so that is where we are at the moment. As it is right now uh, we can say that there are so many theories that are out there but we are awaiting for the DCI report to help us tie some knots as to which theory is most likely uh, possible that led to the death of our colleague. As of now, we cannot presume anything and we cannot make conclusions because we've not heard from the DCI yet. So in terms of burial, we have a, we have a, a, a mass today, a send of mass, a send of mass for our colleague at 4 p.m. Then uh, we'll have the burial is on 27th. Uh, so we are expected some of our colleagues will be traveling on uh, Saturday very early in the morning and some some colleagues will be leaving on uh, on Friday Friday morning just to help with the uh, with the accompanying of the body from one of the funeral homes in uh, Kitale to the home of the, the deceased. Yes. Anything else you'd want to add? Okay uh, yeah so uh, I think as per now we are uh, we are not even sure of uh, the exact cause of the death of our brother but uh, we we, as the as the doctors, we are uh, we are really tying more on the issue of the postmortem, which uh, which showed that the guy was uh, was was strangulated manually. But uh, so many things, so many other theories have come up. So we are hoping that uh, with the report that this year will give us, we'll be able to 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 tie the, the the notes and be able to know exactly what went on. And in case we are not satisfied, we'll we'll know what step to take again.